Welcome back to Birchwood's Craft Day on Virtual Camp. Today we're going to be making a prayer tool that I learned how to make. Many of you may have already made these. They're called dream catchers or little origami folds. But this last semester I learned how to make them in a tool to help you pray. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Sometimes it's hard to know who we want to pray for or we don't know who to pray for. And so today we're gonna to make our prayer tool and we're gonna put people who we could pray for. So when we're thinking about it and we don't know who we wanna pray for, we can just use our prayer tool and it'll help us out. So all you're gonna need is one piece of paper, regular eight and a half by 11, any color, you could do copy paper or your favorite color. I really like this color, so I went with this, and a pair of scissors. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this corner and this side and you're gonna line it up right here. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna line it up. Whichever way you need to look at it, and then you're gonna fold. Then what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna take your scissors, and this is the only time you'll need your scissors, and you're gonna cut right here so this rectangle is off. You're gonna cut right along where this edge is. Like that. Now you're done with this, you can put that to the side. You're also done with your scissors. You open it up and then you have a square sheet of paper. So now what you're gonna do is this is folded in half this way, like that. You're now gonna fold it in half this way. Corner to corner. So after those folds, there should be two folds from corner to corner, corner to corner. Then what you're gonna do is you can turn it any way you like and you're gonna take one corner and you're gonna go in and put it right in the middle. And then you're gonna fold it. Then you're gonna rotate it. And you're gonna go and you're gonna put this corner in the middle as well. And you're gonna fold it. And you're gonna rotate it and you're gonna do it for every corner. Fold it. And then you fold it. Once it's like that, you're gonna flip it over. But you're gonna flip it so all these are still in like that. Then you're gonna do it again. You're gonna take this corner and you're gonna fold it in to the middle and fold. Then you're gonna take this corner, fold it into the middle and fold. And again, you're gonna do the same thing with all four corners. If they don't go all the way to the middle, that's okay too. And fold. So this side will have the triangles with a little line on it and the other side is gonna have squares. So then you're gonna look at it. So you have the squares and you're then gonna fold it in half. So the squares are now like that. And then you're gonna unfold it and you're just gonna go around and you're gonna fold it in half and open it, fold it in half and open it just so it can get those creases in there and it's easier to use. Then when you're ready, all you have to do is fold it like this and then you'll have, you're able to put your fingers in here where the squares are might be a little tricky the first time you do it and then you kind of bend it together. So it's gonna look a little funky, but all you have to do is unbend them like that. And then there you go. So now that you have it all made, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a marker. It could be black, it could be purple, it could be any color you want. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna write little things in here to help us pray. So first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna write numbers in it. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna open it like this and we're gonna fold it so it's flat. So it's like we're unfolding it like this. 
And then as you can see, there's eight different triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna go ahead and write a number on each triangle. You can write whatever number you want. So maybe I put one here. Maybe I put five here. Maybe I put seven. Maybe I put 10, um, six, uh, four, three, and nine. So then when you have all your numbers on those eight triangles, when you fold it back up again, and you put your, square, your fingers back in those squares, oh, this when you go like this you'll see the different numbers you see that so now that you have your numbers what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up again so you're gonna open it up like you had your numbers and then you're gonna open all of those up so now you have one giant square instead of one little square and as you can see there are a lot more triangles here but if you look there's still eight of them one here, one here, one here, one here. So there's a total of eight. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna write different people that you can pray for. Because sometimes we think we and we're like, well, who do I pray for? So this will help you to remember or to know who to pray for that day. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write different people that I wanna pray for. So I'm gonna write my parents, I'm gonna write my family. I'm gonna write my teachers. I'm gonna write my neighbors. I'm gonna write my friends. I'm gonna write myself. And then I'm gonna put the world and then this last one right here, put whoever you wanna pray for. So for me, I have two doggies, so I wanna to remember to pray for my dog. So I'm gonna put pets. So once you're done, you should have eight different words on this giant square. When you're done with that, you're gonna fold it back up so you see the numbers again, like that. And then you'll close it back up so you can put your fingers in the squares. Oopsies. So now to use it, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do this a couple times and play with it. And then you're gonna look at it and then you're gonna pick a number. I'm gonna pick the number three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one, two, three. Then I see the number five. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, Five. Then I see all these numbers and I go, hmm, I'm going to pick number 10. And on the third time, you're going to open it up and you're going to see what's, what word is on number 10. And that word is self. So I would pray for myself. And it's really that easy. You can keep this by your bed or you can take this with you, but it reminds you on who to pray for.